Welcome you all. Now I am demonstrating about Zener diode characteristics. This experiment we are doing with XPICE hardware. I will show you how to make the connection with XPICE hardware and how to collect the data and how to plot a graph using the saved data. We know that Zener diode is a heavily doped PN junction semiconductor device which operates in reverse bias condition which is used as a voltage regulator. This is the symbolic representation of the Zener diode. I will show the circuit connection. This is the Zener diode, the negative terminal which is connected to the ground. One kilo ohm resistor is connected in series to the Zener diode. PV1 programmable voltage 1 is connected to the one end of the resistor. Between the resistor and the Zener diode, we are connecting A1 to measure the voltage. Now, I am showing the Zener diode connection. Operators are required. We want 1K resistor, Zener diode, connecting wires, breadboard and the XPICE hardware. So, this is the circuit connection, the Zener diode. Here, the 1K resistor is connected to the PV1, 1K resistor of the other end is connected to the Zener diode, the Zener diode negative terminal which is black in color at the edge of the Zener diode is connected to the negative terminal. So the 1K resistor, one end of the resistor is connected to the PV1. Between the PV1, sorry, between the resistor and the diode is connected to A1. The negative terminal of the Zener diode is connected to the ground. Now I will open the XPICE software by default which is in the LCI series circuit. Open RVC tab, go to physics first year and select Zener diode characteristics tab. Now you are in the Zener diode characteristics workspace. So this is the uh, region of interest. We can uh, uh, shift it to any side and also we can shrink it. We can change the width of the region of interest. Now click on start button. When it pops up the error try device reconnect, we should go to the device and go to reconnect button, connect it. Now it is started from the reverse bias side. We got the IV characteristics of a Zener diode. Now we wanted to know what is the breakdown voltage and the knee voltage. To find out the breakdown voltage and the knee voltage, this region of interest pink in color, so that has to be narrowed down to the linear portion of the uh, first quadrant so that we can uh, select the region of interest where you want to plot the where you want to draw a tangent to the curve click on this fit button fit with i is equal to v by r so that you draw a tangent to the curve it intersect at the x axis so that x intercept, y intercept and as well as the slope is given, we need to note down these parameters. Similarly, to find out the breakdown region, sorry breakdown voltage, so select the region of interest in the reverse bias side that is the third quadrant side, okay. So again click on the fit button, so that will draw a tangent and it gives what is the breakdown voltage. So all these parameters also has to be noted down. So this is used to calculate the breakdown voltage. The forward, forward bias side that is used to find out the knee voltage as well as to find out the forward resistance with the help of a slope. Now you wanted to save the data, save, click on the save data button, a pop-up window will appear, select the desktop and you can clear, you can create a folder of your batch with this uh, new folder options, create folder options. I already have a folder like ECA1, double click on that. Now we have to enter the file name, Zener diode, 
you can write your name as well then dot txt so click on save button you can go to the specific folder where you have saved the file i saved it on desktop in an ec1 folder as xenodata.txt now i wanted to plot a graph using gnu plot for that and an empty space white space right clicking on the mouse open in terminal launching the terminal so you can see that we are in the path of the folder that is ec1 where we have saved the file now type gnu plot then press enter so now it is open now type a command like set time stamp so that we will be knowing that when you have plotted the graph then set zero axis we wanted to draw a line at zero axis then we have to create a title for the graph set title space with single quote or double quote title of the experiment zener diode characteristics zener diode characteristics then we have to give the name for the x and y axis for that set x label x label is voltage in volts close the code press enter set y label current in milliamp then you need to plot the graph with the saved file plot space single quote name of the file zener diode dot txt we wanted to join all the points with the line for that with that is w then with the lines points press enter so now you can see that graph is plotted so there is a zero axis this is title x and y label and this time tab time stamp as well so now we wanted to save the data we wanted to save the data means to save the graph for that click on export button export to pdf export to pdf you can save it in the same folder zener diode dot pdf zener diode dot pdf click on save button so if you go to that folder you can see that zener diode dot pdf file is there so that you should take it in pen drive you should get the print out of this now what are the things has to be find out now in the forward bias side x intercept y intercept and the slope has to be noted down the reverse bias side also all the three parameters has to be noted down so then you are going to find out what forward resistance so with the help of the slope in the forward bias side one over slope gives the forward resistance okay and also we should see that um, current in milliamps so accordingly the calculation has to be done so this is these are the results the new voltage breakdown voltage and the forward resistance this par, these three parameters has to be calculated so this is how we have performed the zener diode characteristics